Hi everyone, Megan Zimba here for Wireless Design and Development. We're here at IMS 2014 in Tampa Bay, Florida. We stopped by Signal Hound's booth. We're here with Bruce Devine, CEO of Signal Hound. Um, Signal Hounds was this year's ECN Impact Award winner for the test and measurement category with their BB60A um, signal analyzer. Um, but right now we're gonna talk about a successor, the BB60C. Bruce, can you tell us some of the main tech features of this spectrum analyzer for us? Absolutely, and thank you, Megan, for asking. You know, we were the winner this year, like you said, of the Impact Award, and that was for the BB60A. But we came back around and spent another year engineering the BB60C, and so we just came out with the BB60C and introduced that to the in the IMS show here. It's a it's a little bit bigger. We tried to put as much as we could under the hood and, and uh, had to make it an inch longer. But even after making an inch longer, we've been able to improve the spurious free dynamic range. Okay. We've been able to improve the uh, temperature range that it operates over. We've been able to flatten the noise floor. Um, and in all of these things, we've actually even added a variable data pipe, which we can stream IQ data from 250 kilohertz all the way up to 27 megahertz. And so different customers have different needs. Some want to stream a large amount of data, some want to stream a little amount of data. That's if they're even doing a streaming application. Some people just want to use it as a spectrum analyzer, and it's an awesome spectrum analyzer, but we've packed so much more into it than just a real-time spectrum analyzer. It can data record, and that's where the IQ comes in at. With the data recording, they're able to record full modulation, okay. go back and analyze it, and be able to extract any kind of information they want to from it. So we've got an API written. It's, a, it's the language that this machine talks. Mm -hmm. The customer, they can write some kind of customized code for it. Okay. And then they're able to take the instrument and make it do exactly what they want it to do based on that. So uh, we've, we've been able to uh, come and get feedback from our uh, customers that uh, even uh, Sophic, I guess, is the uh, one of the shows that, that there's been our products showing at and at Sophic, it's wound up being uh, showed by more than one customer. We've been told by our customers the reason why that's happening mm -hmm. is because they can't find another product that's able to have accuracy over temperature in this price point. So then what would be the main problem that you're solving for your consumers with this new product? You know, one of the, one of the biggest markets is, or industries is the people that want to have out in the field accurate measurements over over whatever temperature you experience outside. So on the lower cost uh, software defined radios, the SDRs, oops, SDR receivers, uh, it doesn't they don't have any attempt to have accurate amplitude measurements. On the spectrum analyzers, the upper end ones do, you know, Agilent and Ritsu and Roden Schwartz, but it costs a lot more money. There's a camp of people that want to have the, the one box solution, but if they want to save a lot of money, they can have the same kind of performance and be able to get it for a price that's just a fraction of the cost. So that's one of the major, major industries. Now we've got another industry okay. that we've solved a pretty major solution for. This is, this is, so, uh, this is an interface box. It's, well, it's a computer and it's made by Intel. Mm -hmm. And there's something special in it. It's called the VPro technology. And the VPro technology allows us to pair these two together. And this is going to substitute for a laptop. It, it does the same job, it just doesn't have a monitor or a keyboard. There's been a lot of people that have wanted to place these in remote locations, but the objection was, well, if we put it with a laptop, what happens if it locks up? Absolutely. I mean, you're in trouble. <laughs> you got a problem. Right. And so with the Nook computer over the Ethernet, you can, in a locked up condition, you can tell this little, it's, it's an i5 computer, mm -hmm. and you can tell this little jewel to shut off, turn back on, reboot, and it'll clear the locked up condition. So at that point, this is a major problem solved for the people that want to do remote operations. They can do spectrum monitoring. There's a, there's a very big industry that wants to do spectrum monitoring. That solves a very great problem, and it makes a very low cost sensor for spectrum monitoring. You know what, we wind up getting calls and orders for people in Maryland and, and Virginia a lot and, and of course they don't want to say what they're doing with the products but they want them overnight. Well we build to stock and that, that makes it wonderful because they give us an order, it goes out the same day, they get it the next day and whatever they're doing with it, it winds up filling their need. 
Now that service you provide for building for stock, yes. does that cause any problems with any customers who want something that's customizable to what their specific needs are, or are you guys able to do customized work as well? We refer people to third parties. We don't have the bandwidth to do the programming, but we have programmers that are f uh, familiar with our products enough that we refer them to them and they are able to do the programming. Now, there's a lot of customers that also have their own uh, staff programming and they're able to write a program. So if if they're using like 10 of our devices and uh, they want to have a custom program, it becomes very cost effective at that point to run a custom program. Even if you have a programmer working on it for a year, you divide that into 10 units, it's a very, very cost effective solution for a myriad of solutions uh, or of problems, applications that, that different customers want. Uh, we're also using it in, in uh, production line assembly. There's a company that's right now they bought over 40 of the units and they're putting it out on the production line in their spectrum analyzers. So they have a remote operation and they collect the data and they operate uh, and monitor their spectrum or their, the spectrum of their product that they're uh, building and, and uh, producing and making sure that they're passing uh, testing. So that's another pretty major uh, industry that uses the product. So I'm going to assume that you're going to submit this product to the next year's ECN Impact Awards. Absolutely. How do you think you're going to fare out? Oh, I think it's a. You're going to come I, on top again. I think again? it's going to. You know, there's a lot of brilliant people out there and a lot of brilliant uh, products out there, but I think it's a contender because there's there's nothing else in this space. Our customers are telling us there just isn't anything else in this space because of the, the price features, point. the price point, and the features that it has. Great. Well, thank you, Bruce. We appreciate you having us here at Signal Helms booth. I'm Megan Zimba for Wireless Design and Development, and we'll see you next time.